Yeah, good evening. Officials here on campus taking this very seriously, urging everyone to get the vaccine, which comes in multiple doses, especially because in 10 to 15 percent of cases, meningococcal disease can cause death. In fact, a U of O student died from it back in 2015. It can also cause things like hearing loss and brain damage. Now, officials say they're not releasing very much about this latest case. All we know is that the student is an undergrad here on campus, and we're told their family recognized the symptoms early and took him or her to the hospital. That student, we're told, is now in good condition. This, once again, is the fifth case of meningococcal disease here at OSU since last November, and the CDC says anything over three in one year qualifies as an outbreak. We asked students how seeing that email hit them. That is really scary to hear because, I don't know, they keep saying that it's not going to get worse and then we hear about another kid who got sick and it just makes me worried, especially since it's like winter and, you know, it's so cold and everybody's catching things. Same as last year, it kind of just sucks. I mean, it's not good to have that going around, but I mean, it's, uh, I got the vaccine last year, so. It was going on for a while. Now, there are multiple types of meningococcal disease, meningitis being one of them, which refers to an infection and inflammation of the brain and spinal cord. Officials here at OSU don't yet know which type this latest case is. Regardless, they're pushing everyone to know the symptoms. That includes a high fever, a rash, headache, stiff neck, exhaustion, nausea, or vomiting. Vaccines, once again, are being offered here on campus. And in case you're wondering, this does come just ahead of finals week, which is set to start a week from Monday. Reporting in Corvallis, I'm Maggie Vespa, KGW News.